Hello again, YouTubers, on with SpongeBob 101, back here again on the SpongeBob channel. Today we have part 29 of our SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated playthrough video series. Now, um, I actually backtracked a bit. Uh, as you can see here, we are at the first uh, of the sandy jumps here. We have those Texas hooks um, from part 28. Now, I actually realized that a sock was hidden under, well, this a sock is hidden under that ship that we are supposed to land at. So uh, we're gonna get this first before we actually head onto the Dutchman's ship. So without further ado, let's go over here. Hook onto these Texas hooks. Okay, and then third one over here. And we'll be able to land ourselves on this little platform at the checkpoint. Now underneath this, it's actually, um, if you actually move the camera this way, you'll see a sock. 66 really socks. Awesome. Socks. So yeah, this is, ex uh, well, this is essentially the only sock in the graveyard of ships area. So now we are up to two out of three. Now let's go over to the teleport box and then we can teleport ourselves back up to the very top the graveyard of ships and get on that jet powered ghostly ship that sounds so weird you know when you think about ghosts it's like all those uh um, old and ancient stuff right and then suddenly you have a ghostly ship with jet blasters so it's kind of weird but you know it's spongebob so it can be weird so let's press r to travel to the dutchman's ship I think in the original game, there was actually the animation of the ship taking off. Uh, I could be wrong. Comment box below, was there such an animation? Because if they didn't, if there was and they didn't put it back in, that was kind of a bummer. Okay, so here we are at the Dutchman ship area. This button, I assume, would uh, be something you push to... What does this do, actually? Oh, it brings down the ship for you to go back to... Um, the graveyard of ships so nope that is not what we are going to do first let's head up here and mr krabs is right up there waiting for us ahoy there spongebob swab the poop deck Arr aye, 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 aye. oh i already did that joke with squidward mr krabs yes well it's a good one though eh oh sure is here's what you need to do destroy all the power generators on the robot ship once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. All right, so he's trying to uh, do a pun there. But anyway, uh, let's get onto this area and start working to our next golden spatula. So first, let's destroy this guy, if we could. Here we go. Okay, so first, uh, I gotta activate this cannon. So, uh, one out of four. And then, um, here, let's see. We can't really destroy the barrels, but we I can feel like a new this kind of underwear. Okay, so this gives us a good look at the Dutchman ship. The Dutchman ship is actually kind of small if you compare it to, like, um, the sh what went seen in the show and all that. And you can see the robot ship has, like, jet engines and all that. So, yeah, kind of epic. Um, over there. So first, let's head over. Oh, wait a minute. Let's destroy this slip, uh, slip bot. Okay, so bubble down. And there we go. Okay, so first, before we continue, I'm actually going to just quickly save the game here. Okay, and let's see the two tasks. So, destroy the robot ship as well as get aloft their matey. Okay, so first, let's head over. Okay, then now, destroy the power generators, which are these. It's really impressive how the robot ship actually looks pretty cool. Like there's Hell all these yeah. windows and all that. I get it. And it there's shines. like ghostly goo as well and toxic waste. It's 
so really amazing for a robot You've ship. just met the sponge Okay, so we've got all four, um, wait, let's get rid of this guy. So we've got all four power generators. Now let's swap over to Sandy, I think. Yeah, so we can, wait, we need to head up there first. Wait, so first up, let's destroy this. Okay, so this will bring this lever down, it'll bring us up here, and then let's get rid of that duplicated Tron. Okay, and then let's get rid of that power gen. Or, uh, let's One more attempt, let's get this, get it this time. Oh, okay, so it doesn't actually get destroyed by the cruise bubble, so it seems like we have to get Sandy to do this job. Just look at the robot ship, pretty impressive. Okay, anyway, let's start getting distracted with the robot ship, uh, swapping over to Sandy, and then now over here, we can up on this platform. Take that! Thanks for messing with Texas! Oh, wait a minute. Do we even get to use the lift thing? Oh, there is a sock right there. Um, okay. So, I assume we'll have to use SpongeBob to activate the, la the lift and then transform to Sandy. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Okay, yeah, so seems like that was what we we're supposed to do. So now we're gonna go up here and hook onto these. Okay, so now let's uh, activate this. Well, That's that two worked. out of four cannons. And then let's head over here where we have um, another one of these cannons, but we need SpongeBob to smash up down on the button. Okay, so SpongeBob can come over here. And. Three Sometimes out of four. Pushing a okay, simple button so is the most satisfying. Now let's push, 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 push. Change back to Sandy. The bus goes right off the ship into <laughs> uh, to the bus driver's demise. Apparently, okay. So here, uh, let's see. I'm not sure if we were supposed to like get up there immediately. And... Oh yeah. Okay. So I think we are able to do that. So let's. Okay, so we are up here. And okay, well, that's better. So Someone all robot cannons destroyed. All Great. Okay, so now there is that little bouncy, uh, that little trampoline over there. And let's see. So we need to get up there. Hmm. I'm just trying to see where, if there's like a trampoline or something. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so you know what? Let's head back up here. Okay, on top of this thing, collect these shiny objects. We're back up here. I'm not even sure what this does. As you can see, there's this little trampoline. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, I was- that was surprising. So, 71 golden spatulas! Awesome! So, yeah, turns out that that 
The trampoline literally brought us right to our next golden spatula, which is really good because now we are um, six out of eight. Okay, so we still have that sock over there at the other ship and then we have to get... I'm not gonna bother about the purple shiny object over there, uh, but yeah, so we just need to get down here. Okay, and then activate this cannon. All cannons ready to fire. Okay, so, um, before we do all that, Let's do this here. Okay, and then let's, um, let's get down there, because I need to get that sun. And we missed it! Great! Darn. Okay, so let's see here. We we'll need to change back over to SpongeBob. Just want to estimate where exactly it is right now. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually just use SpongeBob Bubble Bash and get it. Oh, we can. Oh, okay. So 67 socks. Uh, pretty good. At least that kind of saves us the time. So now uh, we need to hit up to get rid of this robot. We need to head up to the other side again. Okay, so over here. And then we just need to go over this way. And our golden spatula waits. 72 golden spatulas! Okay, so then now we have to change back over to Spongebob and activate that switch. You know, just thinking of switch reminds me of Nintendo Switch, which I'm using to play this game. Uh, but anyway. Awesome, so I'm not sure why they didn't put a cutscene uh, cut with the robot ship getting destroyed, but I think this is uh, transport. This will bring us to a, our boss battle. We did it! We got your ship back and defeated the robots! That you did! But now that I look at it, I think I'll keep this golden spatula. It's so nice and shiny. It reminds me of my first buried treasure. But what about our deal? Ha! Ah, never make a deal with a ghost! Deals don't mean anything to me! Except for that great deal I got on a butter churn back in 1873. What a prize, I tell you, nothing beats creamy hand churned butter. Wait just a cotton picking minute, butter boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them fighting words! If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on! Okay, so um, if you do hear the fan again in the background, it's because the uh, MacBook is acting up again. This ship brings us back to Graveyard Lake. You can see uh, like a crew, some kind of cruise liner there, a uh, smaller boat and all that. But anyway, so uh, now that we are here, uh, the boss arena let's hover over and it's time to take on the flying dutchman so lasso the tail Ew. can't believe i'm wearing spongebob's underwear okay so the dutchman's gonna materialize in this direction okay so then he's gonna breathe his uh, fire over there Wait a minute, so how do we even get to lasso his tail? I mean, I assume we'll just have to move to, you know, behind him, literally. Okay, so he's gonna do his thing now. There we go, so phase two, keep hurting the ghost. So yeah, you gotta immediately press the la uh, B button once you see the red circle target. Or uh, yeah, pretty much. So two bars of health to go. No, 
now he does his laser thrice. And it's time to grab his tail again. Or not. Okay. So not just yet, but now. Okay. There we go. Okay, so he's gonna, you know, start lasering away. Four times now. So he's gonna do that, I, th I assume, three rounds? Okay, so he's so gonna put him here. here. Okay, and then he's gonna rematerialize this direction. Yeah, so I assume he's gonna do four lasers and sets of three sets of four lasers, and then we'll be able to uh, yank on his tail again. Or not, so four sets of four lasers now. And there we go. Had enough, you dirty ghost? Dirty? I'll have you know this jacket has been cleaned twice. Everyone stop fighting. I think I have an idea. Here you go. Oh, it looks like my ship. It's even got all the little mold that flies. How thoughtful. All right, you little rapscallions. Here's the golden spatula. All right, so our final golden spatula, that brings us uh, to 73 golden spatulas. Awesome, so now that we are done with this, the boat actually has shown up here. So that one over there brings us to the Graveyard Lakes. This one also brings us to Graveyard Lake. So um, yeah, there's pretty much nothing else to do in a Judgment's Graveyard. We've got all the golden spatulas. Uh, three out of three socks and four out of four cannons so let's head back over to the graveyard lake and see if there's any more dialogue if not we'll head into bikini bottom so in the next video part 30 we actually will be starting our adventure in the final platforming level that being spongebob's dream so before we get hit with uh, that first okay and then make our way out so even the dutchman is not even here anymore so yeah i guess we'll just head back into bikini bottom since we've already gotten everything there is to collect here so the driverless taxi comes whisks us away back to bikini bottom that is one amazing taxi i mean it apparently can fly too you know so maybe the robots attach one of those jet blasters below the taxi or something <laughs> yeah imagination so, yeah, um, I will be splitting up the Spongebob Dream stage into three videos. I won't be splitting them based on each dream area. Although, in the first, in the next video, I'm actually just going to be trying to get all the spatulas in Spongebob's Dream, as well as from Patrick. And then in the following video, we'll be doing the Sandy Slide, and then in the final Spongebob Dream video we'll be doing Squidward and Mr. Krabs. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep it right here on Ultimate Spongebob 101. And in the next video, we'll head into Spongebob's Dream. So I'll see you guys then.